Hi everyone, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. There is a very rude zombie interrupting my intro. But anyway, this is a new world. What I'm trying to do here is just provide you with a nice, relaxed Minecraft Let's Play. I want to go for a bit of an old school style. I really enjoy that more peaceful and slow type of um, gameplay for this game, so I'm just going to be going with that. And yeah, so there is no real objective here, but I'm going to be playing Minecraft, and after each episode, I'm going to do a speed paint that will highlight something that has happened in the episode. So, this world is pretty interesting. What I've done is I've gone back to 1.0, like the release of Minecraft, and I got this seed. I'll leave the original seed in the description, just keep in mind that it's from 1.0. After I got that seed, I loaded it up to 1.6.4 to convert it, and then I loaded it up to 1.20, which is the version we're going to be playing on. So the spawn area is of 1.0 terrain, and after we explore some more, we get back to 1.20. And I was thinking about playing with mods. But I realized that if I want to keep playing this world for a long time, playing with mods is going to be a bit unreliable, especially for updates. That's okay. So yeah, this is my first time doing a recording or YouTube video in a very long time. Um, I used to do YouTube back in like 2014 for a few years. Um, I was doing filmmaking, it wasn't gameplay, but... Yeah, so I am not the best at talking, especially enough for long periods of time. So this is going to be a learning experience, and I think that's okay. So I hope you enjoy a bit more of this, well, <laughs> newbie-style content. So yeah, we're just going to be exploring this world for a little bit. Whenever I start a new survival world, I really like to just find a nice place to call my house, or my home. And um, that requires a bit of walking, so you know. Um, Luckily, this spawn area is pretty nice. I really like being near mountains, and actually, I'm gonna increase my render distance a little bit. Move to 16 chunks. Yeah, so, I am actually playing with a texture pack. This is Faithless. If you've not heard of Faithless before, it is a really incredible texture pack, especially if you really like the vanilla style of the game. I do have a few texture pack favorites that are pretty different from vanilla, but Overall, I really enjoyed just the default look of Minecraft, but Faithless is pretty much default, but better. I honestly would not call anything objectively better than default, but this one comes pretty close. So yeah, I really like it. I think you will too. There's a lot of interesting little elements to it that makes the game a lot more fun. And yeah. So, let's see. We're gonna just get some tools. I'm still getting used to having to talk and play this game at the same time. Oh, this is really good. We found some coal. I I think I'm playing on hard. No, actually, let me switch this to hard. I tend to play on hard because it is the most fun and challenging, and Minecraft after a while, I mean, it gets a little bit easy. So, you know. I would never play on hardcore, though. That is something that I just can't. I don't have the heart to play hardcore. Because if you lose your world, I mean, I'll just be really sad. I don't like to lose my world. Um, I have a lot in the past, not um, from hardcore, but just from, well, corruption. Um, one time my old PC corrupted. Um, it wouldn't start. So the operating system actually gave out and I lost all of my Minecraft worlds. That was really tragic for me because <laughs> um, they were all stored on my um, my local disk. And yeah, that really sucks. Always back up your Minecraft worlds, especially on an external drive. I do that now and it's not automated so I have to do it manually but it's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, what should we do now? I guess we have to get some food. We just got to get prepared for this first night. Ignore me missing my shots on a pig. Um, I kind of have to play with a different setup than I normally do to record. Um, because I use a mechanical keyboard and it's really loud. So 
I can't record with it. Especially not with my current setup. So I'm playing on my laptop's keyboard. You might still hear it in the background, but trust me, it's better than my clicky ass mechanical keyboard. Um, so yeah, let's get some more food and then I think we just gotta call- Whoa. Oh, I was so confused on what I just saw. It's a 3D model. Look at that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's what I like about this texture pack. It is so interesting. You just like see random things that you would not expect. Okay, there's a swamp over there. Um, it's a bit greener than usual, but that's because of the weird terrain thing going on. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I totally forgot. Um, I know this is gonna bug you people, because every time I watch a Let's Play and they forget what they were gonna say, it's so peeved about it, but it's fine. Anyway, um, I think I was talking about my keyboard. Yeah, you would not want to hear it, but I mean, I'm gonna try to improve my setup over time. Anyway, this is a really humble beginning. Let's get some glass with this sand. Not like we're actually collecting glass. Oh, and some fish is gonna be good too. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. And then I think I don't want to commit to any house right now, so maybe I'll just do some digging in the mountain and call that my home. Ugh, okay. I hate fitting I hate hitting fish in Minecraft. They are just so tediously annoying, especially with these weird animations they do. This is a faithless thing. The weird bobbing up and down. It really confused me the first time I've seen it. But yeah, there is a lot of interesting little quirks about this texture pack. I'm gonna get some wood from the swamp actually. I really like the color of it. Um it seems that when I loaded up this world to 1.20, some of the biomes got changed. Um, I think this. Huh, yeah, so this isn't a swamp anymore. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I'm not close enough. Huh, it's a forest. Huh, okay, well that explains the color. I do wonder why it does that though. Kind of interesting. So yeah, we're just gonna collect some wood. Let's see. Oh, we really don't have a lot. And the sun is about to set. Oh my god, okay. I guess I was playing a bit too slow. Um, that's okay. I'm not too scared. I don't think I'm gonna die. Ooh, mushrooms. Ooh, if only red mushrooms spawned in this one. Oh wait, they do! Okay, wait, hold on. I totally want to make some mushroom stew. I know it's not very convenient or practical, I should say, to make mushroom stew, but I love making all the weird foods in Minecraft. It might be because I like cooking in real life. I just wish cooking was more of an actual thing in Minecraft. Because it's like, usually, for me at least, I will make a cow farm, get a bunch of steak, and that will be all I eat the whole game. Lately, I've been kind of more inclined to actually do some different uh, food types. So I would bake potatoes or make pumpkin pie. It's not very good, of course, nothing beats um, steaks and golden carrots and such, but uh, yeah, I just think it's more interesting. So we're gonna build into this mountain real quick because I am running out of time here and I'm playing really slow, but that's okay. I think I play this game too fast sometimes and it kind of takes away the fun for me, so I didn't get that coal earlier. Oh my god, okay. That's fine, we can make charcoal. I really am sorry you cannot see anything right now, but that will change in just a second. There we go. Alright. How about we make some planks? Totally scared something's gonna walk up behind me. Make a little outline here. I know it's a very humble beginning, but we still want a nice door frame. And one of the weird things about this game is that you get three doors instead of just two or one. Who needs the extra door? Like, what am I gonna make a bedroom? I mean, I guess. I guess we'll make a bedroom. <laughs> there we go. Now we don't have a random door in our inventory. I probably should make a shovel too. I don't know why I forgot about that. It's like the last tool I ever make. Well, besides hose. Oh! <laughs> the power went out. At least now I can make a torch. And there we go. 
course I didn't find any sheep, so that's not good. Or maybe there were sheep and I missed it, but oh well. I guess there is a nice quality of just spending out your first night, right? Maybe it's for the best. Look at that. Got some bookshelves inside the crafting bench. Now that is cool. Uh, I'm gonna take a peek out here real quick. Because sometimes it's nice to kill a mob or two. Um, I don't see anything. It's weird how these mushrooms are glowing. It almost looks like a lighting bug to me, but I know it's not. It's just really weird because there's no luminescence. Anyway, um, let me start art ranting about luminescence. Oh yeah, let's make that mushroom stew, actually. So, I think- oh wait, I need the bolts first. And like this. Nice! That's a mushroom stew. So, since we don't have a bed for our bedroom, I guess we're sleeping on on some sand. This is gonna be my bed. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try to find a cave. There is really nothing else to do, and one thing that I find really weird is, you know that one song, Don't Mind at Night? That makes no goddamn sense, because why wouldn't you mind at night? What are you gonna do, go outside? Obviously not. I mean, caves are gonna be dangerous whether it's night or day. That song is just, doesn't make any sense. It's a good song though. It was definitely my childhood. Just thinking about those times when Minecraft parodies were so popular, it's very interesting. I still like to watch old Minecraft Let's Plays from those times. It's just so nostalgic. And I guess that's what I'm trying to do here. Oh, did I make headbonkers by accident? Oh, damn it. Okay. But yeah, I guess that's one thing that I'm kind of trying to do here with my Let's Play. Is just take it slow. That's how we did in the good old days. I really like that about Minecraft. Is that you can play at any pace you want. Ooh. Shout out, skeleton. Freaking hate skeletons. Oh my god, especially on hard mode, they're such a pain. Yeah, walk away, buddy. Walk away. <sighs> Alright, I really wish I had a shield, because I would not even try. The skeleton's gonna beat me up. Alright. Let's keep going. Okay. I just did a little bit more digging, and I finally found something. But I hear skeletons, so I'm really nervous. Ah, skeletons freak me out. Alright, it's wait, this way. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back up real quick. Skeleton is gonna be annoying. I guess we just have to go for it, right? We just gotta fight it. Um, alright, so, let's make, what was I making? Oh yeah, oh, pickaxe, and let me make this into torches, because I guess I'll need it. Alright, here we go. I can't see anything. Oh my god. Hey. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's a mushroom. Okay. See, these glowing mushrooms are freaking me out. Okay. I still don't see it. What is that? Okay, it's gravel. I thought it was cobblestone. Let's get this iron. Really need coal. I know there was some down there where I was just at, but that is too much darkness. Hopefully there's some here. I honestly am a little bit, um, I feel like I'm, I missed something because I was walking too fast. Uh, I didn't see any coal, did I? Oh, that bat scared me. Mmm, any coal? Yay! Okay. Thank you, I really need this. Let's see, is there anything in here? No? Right here? spider. I hope this game is not too quiet. Um, there's a lot of mobs. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get this coal. 
Because I'm out of torches. Oh man. Um, actually, how much iron do I have? So let's make that into something real quick. Really like this chicken texture. Not this. Um, I guess I'll just use that and then this. And I gotta make torches. <gasps> oh god. Okay. Get away from me! Get away! Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Sorry! Sorry for yelling! Oh my god! Run! 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 Alright, I really need a shield. Look how much damage that guy did only in two shots! Ah, uh, why am I- Wait, is that raw? Oh, crap. No wonder I wasn't regening. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Dude, it does so much damage! Okay, okay, we almost just died. That would be really, really embarrassing. I really need a shield, oh my god. Okay, this chicken. Ah, the saturation on this thing is awful. Is that the right word, saturation, or is it... However, whatever. Okay, shield, shield, shield. So important, oh my god. Okay, so you actually can't see the shield in my offhand because it's on my back. But when you right click, and it appears. This is a really nice quality of life part about uh, Faithless is you don't have to constantly look at your shield. So annoying in default. I really don't like how much space it takes up. Um, so I'm glad that they put it like that. Plus having it on your back is pretty cool too. But it does cover my Optifine cape, so <laughs> that's okay. Man, I got the keep so long ago. Oh, I don't have any torches. Yeah, I know that um, nowadays people play with um, sodium and iris. I've played with it before, and I mean, it's pretty good. Oh god! What the hell? There's two of them. What the f- God damn it. Okay, let them fight. Fly! 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 Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, okay. There we go. Cleaning up the kill. I hear so many spiders right now. Anyway, what was I saying? So, I've played with Sodium and Iris before and the performance is good, but... I don't get my Optifine cape, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's like- Oh, and you don't get the zoom still? I don't know why they've not added that yet, but we really need a zoom feature. So yeah, until they kind of fix some of the quality of life things, I will probably still be playing on Optifine. Oh, look at all that iron! <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh god, okay, we're going back, we're going back. Holy crap, I need food! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh! Don't die, don't die! Crap, okay. Oh! Oh my god, the poison lasts so long! Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? It's probably daytime by now. Maybe I'll go back later. I- <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh my gosh! Why does it last so long? Imagine a poison kills you. It'd be so annoying. Ah! Okay. Now we can regen. Um, is anything out here? No? Dude, my health, my hunger is just depleting so fast. I thought pork chops were supposed to be good. Maybe it's just because it's on hard mode, I don't know. So, okay, we gotta focus this day. We gotta just go and collect resources. What is that? Something is moving over there. We gotta go collect resources. I need to find sheep. More food, um, probably, I guess we'll just keep exploring that cave for a bit, because I need to get the iron, coal, but maybe we can do that at night? I don't know, I guess we'll see. I really need to find some sheep though, so, where are the sheep? I'm getting a bit of lag here, I'm sorry about that. My rig is really not the best. Um, this is my last food. 
I guess I'll have to hold on to it. Oh, ah! getting lag. Let's see, where do sheep spawn? Do they spawn in the taiga? That's a cow over there. I guess we'll kill the cows. Oof. Oof. Lag. Probably because I'm learning new chunks. I noticed that, um... In the latest versions... Even with Optifine, it's pretty damn laggy. Um... I really wish the Java optimization was better. Um... Because, I mean, it's Minecraft. I think my computer should be able to handle it, but... Oh well. Honestly, if I had a good setup, I would totally be playing with shaders. I freaking love shaders, but I just don't think that's gonna be good. I really do not get the best frame rate with shaders. It really sucks, because I, I like them, but you know, it's fine. At least we get to play with the texture pack. So... I still don't see- did that guy not drop anything? That was so rude. So I don't see any sheep. That's not good. Also don't want to get lost. I'm always worried about getting lost. Oh. Ooh. Look at this. So we get this weird generation here, which means past this point should be new terrain. I know it's a little bit weird looking, but that's one of the cool parts about loading up a world like this. So you get really weird terrain, and that's what makes Minecraft fun. And you get exposed coal, so that's a plus. Who doesn't love exposed coal? Wow, this is weird. I totally remember this kind of terrain from like... Oh, where's my cat? Uh, anyway, I totally remember that type of terrain where it breaks up on the ground from the old days. I'm just gonna take it slow a little bit, let the world load. Yeah. Alright. Still no sheep. I mean, maybe we can go into the forest because sheep are usually in the forest. Right? Ah! I see it, I see it! I am ready to kill you. Look at all this. This is so weird. Okay, wait. Should I make shears or, th or is there three here? There's one, two- oh, okay. We can kill them. Yes! We get a bed tonight! To replace our little sand... mattress. You can even call it that. I would not want to sleep on a sand mattress. That sounds kind of weird. Maybe it'll be like a bean bag. I mean, it just depends if, if it's enclosed in fabric or not. Um, anyway, got some coal here. I mean, not coal. This is iron. Um... I heard that Faithless texture pack is supposed to be good for people who are colorblind. Um, so that's cool. If you are colorblind, you should check out Faithless. I don't know if that's completely true or not. I just kind of saw that in a YouTube video, but I can kind of tell that they're going for a lot of diversity in terms of design. All the ores are very distinct just based on the shape language that they, they have. So even if you can't see any color, you will still be able to differentiate them, which is good. Because especially before the Minecraft um, texture changes, yeah, a lot of the coal, iron, all that, they all look the same. It was the same shapes. Not good. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think honestly, they did pretty good with the updates to the textures. Um... Especially with the netherrack. Oh my gosh. What an eyesore it used to be. Honestly though, the one texture that I really miss is like old gravel. And even the old um the old plank texture, I think there's something quite charming about the old one. It was so simple but very flat. And another one. Oh yeah, for the gravel. Oh it's raining! Nice! Whoa! Check this out. Got a lava pool. That's good. Not for me though, because I don't know how to do that <laughs> MLG nether portal thing. I refuse to learn it because honestly, I just do things the old school way. I think it's just another one. Wow, that's very cool, but definitely a hazard. But yeah, I really like the um, 
the very old gravel texture that looks kind of just like grain. It's ugly, but <laughs> it just gives me so much nostalgia. And I guess that's one of the main talking points of today's episode, is how much nostalgia this game gives me. What is going on in there? Oh, I think it's from the, the crafting table. Anyway, we got a lot of things now, so I think... Hmm. I guess I have to go back down there. Let me smelt this iron. Because I want to make some armor ASAP. I think that's even more important than tools right now, because... I almost died to that skeleton. Like... What the hell? Not even there's a skeleton, but the witch. Um, actually, I could have put the door here. That extra third door. Because, um... Yikes. I guess I'm running back and forth. To safety. But yeah, so... This is a very nice start to our world, and what I'm really excited for is making a house. I'm probably going to look online for some inspiration because I want to make it something unique and maybe a bit more interesting. We'll see. I guess for a starter house, it'll be nothing special, but later on we can move to a really nice place. I know that... Uh, one thing I kind of have always done in my old worlds is I move, so after a while I'll pack up all my stuff and put them in shul shulker boxes and just go to a new place, build a new house. It gives you kind of like a fresh start, especially if you're playing on an old world and you want to kind of explore new terrain. It's a good way to just not be like having to explore tens of thousands of blocks every time you want to go to like a new biome or something. Just move your house, honestly. Like, it's fun, right? Well, it's really tedious, but I think it's also fun. So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna collect a few more resources, and I think we're gonna call it um, an episode. So, look out for the speed paint that I'll be doing soon. And I'm gonna explore this cave another time, because it is pretty big. I just wanna get some iron. Because I really need iron. But yeah, look out for that speed paint because I'm going to be working on it soon. We're going to be recapping the episode, see what happens. And yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I also will try to incorporate- Ooh! Where? Oh no! Okay, just block and run. <gasps> oh my god, okay, 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 we're running, we're running. <laughs> we're running! Jesus, I don't have a bow. Um. Oh. What if the skeleton can kill it? Kill it! Kill it! No, no! Oh my god, it just shot it into me. Stupid. Stupid. Okay, you know what? I think we're done. I think we're done. We need to get out of here. We need to get some, some armor, come back here another time when we're a bit stronger. So yeah, anyway, I totally forgot what I was saying again, but um, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. It's still raining. But yeah, um, next episode will come out probably next week, and have a good day! Bye!